this video, we'll create a simple extension that will demonstrate what a module is. Modules are an important part of the PageKit core, but also extensions and themes are both created following the same module structure. Let's start with a new folder in the packages directory inside of your vendor subdirectory. Let's create a small extension to manage a to-do list. Any package, both extensions and themes, needs at least two files. First, the composer.json, which includes the package information. And then second, an index.php, which returns a PHP array, the so-called module definition. Let's start with the composer.json, which is the description for our package. First, the name attribute which consists of the vendor prefix and the actual name of your package. A package also needs a version number. We assign a type, in this case, pagekit-extension. For a theme, this would be pagekit-theme. And lastly, a title, which is a human readable title. This will be used to list the extension in the backend and in the pagekit marketplace. The second file is the index.php. PageKit expects this file to return a PHP array, which acts as the definition of our module. We start by giving it a name. We also set the type of this module to be an extension. And we set the main property. This can be a string pointing to an extension class to be loaded. Or you just have a simple function right here. This function receives one parameter, the PageKit application instance which comes from the PageKit namespace. So this is the main code that is executed when our extension is loaded. To see if this works, let's just have some simple output. Now log into the PageKit backend. Go to the system settings and view the extension listing. We can see our new extension, but it's not activated. PageKit only loads extensions which are active. Let's change that by clicking the red status icon. And there we go, this output is generated by our extension. So there you have it, this is the basic structure of an extension. It's all built around this array with the module definition. In the next step, we'll look at some of the properties that you can set to register your own functionality.